see guys, <laughs> I can never do anything right. So just move it over. Still it, all it is is because John don't want you to see he's got pretty little pink things guys in his car. He does love pink really. Oh my god. <laughs> he even has like a well done to say, well done darling. Your driving's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I give him this badge for surviving 27 years nearly with us. <laughs> yeah, I need more than that. Right, right, I've got to come. So, guess what, everybody? We sold the motorhome <laughs> to a lovely chap called Steve. He was over the moon with it. Oh, good one. You got a good, good van there, Steve. We're pretty yeah, gutted it's gone. He was John. a nice guy, wasn't he? Lovely it's guy. all right. It's all right. Don't forget me, book Steve, if you're watching this at all. <laughs> now, we're on our way to look up another vehicle. Da, da, da that will be taken to Bulgaria. Yeah. So stick around and you'll see what vehicle we go for. Yeah. So uh, we'll come back in a bit. Yeah. And see what we get. If we get anything. <laughs> you never know. We've yes. got two to look at, haven't we? Yeah, because we was going to look at one. Oh, that was uh, very which lucky. Which we, we actually had our heart set on this one that we found. Um, and we were going for it all along, weren't we? Yeah, 10,600 quid. Yeah. Decided last night I will just run a HPI check for it to come back. And it had been uh, in an accident and um, cat-ass cat right, right off. Although well, it can go back on the road, but that puts your insurance up. It's not worth as much money. And the sneaky little Londoner decided not to tell us. Yeah. So guys, that's why it's always best to do these checks on these vehicles. It cost vehicles. me 26 quid to do that check, but I'd rather be down 26 pound than thousands of pounds. Yeah. So, so. a little bit chuffed I did that. Like you had a bit of a late night last night, didn't you? And yeah, you so we got jumped straight two. back on the internet, looking around all over, and I've got two more to go and look at. So one of them's a bit more shabbier than the other. Yeah. But as long as uh, she goes all right and things for you, then we might get that one or we might get the other one. So stick around and you'll see which one we ended up going for. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon. Right, so we're back again. So we have just been to our first van to have a look at. What do you think of the first one, darling? Priced okay, but needed far too much work. A lot of work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for the price, it's okay, but because we've got like this time, we haven't got a time schedule, but we've got a time in, haven't we, that we'd like to be gone by. Quicker the better. Yeah. The um, and it means that if we get this one, it's going to put us back a bit longer because it does need a bit of work doing to it. But we haven't written it off completely because we are going to look at number two. Which is four and a half grand dearer. Yeah. So there is a bit of a price difference in the two. So, but this one does look a little bit of a better van, but I don't know whether I want to pay that much money. Um, so yeah, so it's a hard one, isn't it? And we also can't make our mind up because the one we've just seen was a Mercedes, wasn't it? Mercedes Sprinter. A Mercedes Sprinter. The one we're going to look at now is a Transit. Yes. Yeah, you got that one right. But, yep. oh. No, you just got to see up my nostrils, guys. Uh, but, oh, I know. I thought you were going to pull out then. But um, I have just found another one, which so is... So now Donna's let the cat out of the bag by saying a Mercedes Sprinter. Yeah. Obviously, we're looking at vans. Yeah, but we have some what van, though. <laughs> what sort of van? What sort of van? Um, so the other one that I've found, but it's in Essex, and that is an Iveco. So three different vans, three Help different out, prices. Oh, yeah, because I was doing that. See, look what I get, guys. I do that. Cover the mirror, then I get in trouble. Right, let's put you here a second. So you well, can... do is twist your hand. You could have left your phone there. Yeah, look, there you go. Are you, have you finished? I mean, they're all bloody work. See, that's why he's got this well done badge, man. That's why it's in this car because of you brought yourself it. Yeah, dear. Right, back again because I had to come off to uh, <laughs> make sure we were going the right way. 
don't want to take John down the wrong road now, do I? I might get in trouble. You'll be in the back of that, look. A private ambulance. <laughs> Come on, we we're supposed to have a nice day, no screaming, no shouting. So yeah, so we're on our way to our second one. Birmingham. Birmingham. It's about, well, it's only about an hour from the last one, isn't it? An hour and a half. An hour and a half, so at least they're not too, too far away from each other. Got caught by the toll on the M6. Yeah, oh my God. Donna spat a dummy out. Eight, what was it? Eight, eight pound twenty to go <laughs> down the road. I pay bleeding road tax for God's sakes. Eight pound twenty for a car. We ain't going back on the toll road on the way back. That's disgusting. You eight pound it. twenty. Yeah, you watch. I bet you can miss it. It's only like a mile or so out of it. No, it's oh, is it? Does it justify the fuel to the price of the toll? Now that's do the question, guys. You'll find out, won't you? do some research now, I don't, don't do things, I do have enough research as it is. Um, so yeah, stop the waffling Donna. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go, out. we didn't record looking around that van. There's right now um, a main road, you couldn't yeah. even hear the engine running with the traffic going past. Yeah, so the, odd, the few little bits that are wrong with the first one that we've seen is there is a bit of oil um, around, a bit. The, a bit, well quite a bit actually, around the engine bay. Um, it needs all new brake pads, it needs two new tyres, it needs a new something else putting on but I can't say what that is otherwise you guys all know what it, we're looking nah. at, nearly give it away. Nearly gave it away. Um, it needs new windscreen. Um, loads of rust on it. Oh loads of rust, so it will need some body work doing to it. So that again, I really don't want to be stuck here. You know what John's like, he has to have everything looking right and he'll go, I'll be alright. But I know what it's like, see, now I've got one of the kids calling me. So I'm going to cut you short, we're going to go and look at this other one, and then we'll come back and let you know how we got on with this one. So for now, we'll see you soon. Did you get anything, honey? Only a little caravan. So we went and looked at... The second van. Yep. And it's a load of shit. Yeah. Needed new injectors, new flywheel. Stunk, didn't it? It stunk where it weren't burning the fuel properly. Yeah, that wasn't good. So that was a no-no. So we've wasted most of our day driving to Birmingham to look at two vehicles that, that both were no good. That people can't be honest and say what they're selling. Yeah. Oh, they're immaculate. There's nothing wrong with them. No. <sighs> Guys, if you sell a vehicle, just be honest because <laughs> you look stupid otherwise <laughs> but we did buy a small caravan so we haven't come away empty-handed have we no and even better they're delivering, they're it. delivering it they're actually not right right behind us but it's not far and they're actually bringing it back now so we're six o'clock now yeah two and a half hour drive and they said yeah. oh we'll deliver it so up. we haven't got to go back to go and get that so they're delivering it so all we need to do is stop and get some food eh? yeah I'm hungry I'm a bit angry Marvin I'm yeah, getting hangry now everybody I'm getting a bit hangry so yeah so driving back we've had to drive through Birmingham oh my god what a headache no, I couldn't do it. I so feel for you, whoever does. I take me out after anybody that drives through Birmingham. I take me out after you because that stressed me out really bad. But to be fair, John did only shout at me once, so did all right there. So the picture's a little bit uh, fuzzy, but obviously it's getting a bit dark now. So we'll come back again a bit later on, and uh, we'll show you our tiny caravan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be in tomorrow day, now when it's daytime. So we'll be back in a bit. So, excuse the mess. Day two <laughs> of um, van hunting, hey? Yeah. Is that the same job you were wearing yesterday? Yeah. So I'm, you're going to say, oh, it's so day two, but yeah, you're wearing the same I am wearing the same. I have changed my underwear, guys, so that's all right. <laughs> Did you change your pants? Yeah. You, or did you just turn them inside no, I've got out? Blue ones on the oh yeah, you've got a black jumper on. Oh, at least you changed your jumper. 
Yeah, that's because my clothes stay cleaner for longer. <laughs> right, so. Well, well, after a night on the internet, yes. found another one. Yes, and now we're on our way to Peterborough. Peterborough. To go and look at a van. Yeah, this one is double the price tag. Yeah. And it's a Peugeot. They were really rated Peugeot, but I had a, a read up last night on the engine. It's a 22 HDI or something like that. Apparently they're meant to be okay, so. Well, fingers are crossed with this one, aren't they? Yeah, good thing they've got galvanised bodies and that, so they're not going to suffer with like, looking like a rock box and things. Yeah. So, yes. It's windy, like 50, oh, 60 mile an hour It's gusts. really windy, isn't it? So, I'm only doing slow. <laughs> I'm only doing slow, guys. He's going 68 mile an hour. I'm only going slow. What On do you do? I do 70. No, you <laughs> No, 70. 70 I do. Exactly, so you're going a little bit slower because of the wind. So you should do 70, he's now doing 68. So he's been very careful, guys. Just to give him a big well done. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so we didn't get home till quite late last night. By the time we were finished, I think it was about- 10 o'clock. Yeah, it was gone 10, wasn't it? We got the caravan delivered, had a look around it. Yeah. Home, didn't we? About oh, 10 o'clock by the time we got home. So, yeah, a long day yesterday. Hopefully, not so long a day today. I think you've got a backup number four van, just in case this one. We have, but he has messaged me to say he's on afters. So, by the time we've got and looked at this, we ain't going to be able to look at that one on the way back. No, and I have so, to be home for yeah, five so o'clock. We can maybe work that one out for tomorrow. We'll see, but fingers crossed, um, this one is going to go really well. We will uh, let you know and give you an update in an hour. Job done. Job done. See you in a bit. So we're back again. <laughs> we got a got boy racer in front, didn't we? With big exhaust. Yeah. Run. <laughs> We've reloaded, written on the back. <laughs> Turn your indicator off, mate. Well done. Right, now I've got the sun in my eyes. So, we've been to look at number three and number four van. Well, there's, well, there's both about in the four same or five there that we Well, yeah, that's true. And we walked away from all of them again. <laughs> well, we're not doing very well, are we? Not very well. Oh, dear. So, we have got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, so this video is going to need to go out before we end up buying a van. So we might as well at least let you know what we're trying to look for. So we're trying to look for a crew cab tipper van. So, because there's lots of work to do over at the house, a crew cab, A, we can pick people up from airports, so there's room in the back, and B, we want a tipper because we'll be needing to pick materials in our, yeah. and we just got to find one. Now we did find one, the price was a bit high, but the tipper didn't tip, which means by the time you handball it on, and now I put this image in John's head, really hot, you've just loaded it up, now you're gonna take it down, and guess what? Rather than tipping it off, now you've got to handball that all off again. 40 degrees like, heat. Um, then John was like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, the, the one I really want, I want a sprinter. Yeah. I don't mind settling for a Transit or another model, but it's a Sprinter I really want. And that particular Sprinter was just a flatbed. So like Donna said, do I really fancy in 30, 40 degrees, having to handball a, oh, a ton of fucking loose off the back or something? Yeah, and no, it's not that. We're finding with a lot of the vehicles that we're going to look at, everyone's going, oh, they're absolutely immaculate, there's nothing wrong with this, this is all right, this is fine. But again, each one we've looked at, even this one that we was originally looking yeah, at. Yeah, it's brand new in the photos. Literally looks gorgeous. We get there, it's got massive plates welded on the seals. It's got, I mean, you don't mind their work van, so you don't mind the, the odd dent and scratch, but they, they just take the piss, don't they? Yeah, I mean, it was, was it a bearing on the flywheel that's gone? Well, yeah, it sounded like the clutch race bearing or the, uh, what you call it, bearing. It sounded rough as a dog's yeah. thing when you're dumping the clutch So again out. there, you put, you're going to look at something that actually isn't true to what they're saying and you still got to go and have work done on it. 
and I don't want to take a vehicle that we've got to still go and spend loads more money on um, putting it right. So I want to find a vehicle that, yep, we're happy with. Obviously, we're not going to get brands making new. Knowing we're carrying, towing a caravan to Bulgaria. Yeah. So if we're a bit bumpy, we guys. kind of need to know and, and do our best in finding a reliable vehicle. Even though you could buy a brand new one and it break down on us, but you know, you've got to try and start with what you hope and think is good. Yeah, so if any of you guys, because obviously this video is, looks like it's going to go out before we buy one, yeah. any of you guys have got a, uh, a transit crew crank cab, whatever they're called, tipper. Crew cab <laughs> tipper. Message if you've got one or you know someone that's got a pretty decent one. It could be a transit sprinter, can be 10 years old or it could be new. Anyway, good day everyone. We're on the next day and I'm riding solo. God, I need a shave, don't I? Haircut. Yeah, I'm riding solo, found a van up near York, 19 plate, well over budget, but it's up 15 and a half grand, <laughs> well over budget. I need to be hitting maximum 13 grand. And that's still over, but I so just see if I can get some uh, deals to be had. But they got quite a few vans, so we'll see what they got. So yeah, I went in there to buy a Mercedes Sprinter. It weren't really budging on price at all, so it was a bit out of our price range, and ended up buying. Uh, transit spin you around so here we are We've got a mark 8 transit a 16 plate um it's pretty damn clean it's a tipper crew cab just what i wanted i only had 66 thou on the clock so yeah winner winner now you might be thinking well she's very dirty and you'll be right. And you might have noticed in the background that it kind of don't look very UK y. That's because we're already here at our house in Bulgaria. Hold on a minute. Let's just rewind. We've got a boat to catch. Cozy Adventures Yay. set sail on the Pride of Hull. I think it's a Pride of Hull. Yeah, it is a Pride of Hull. We're going to um, Hull from Hull. From Hull and to Rotterdam, and then we're driving all the way to Bulgaria, Bulgaria. to but see Phil and Karen. The thing is, this boat is that smooth that we, we didn't even. <laughs> yeah, we, we quickly come up on deck to w watch us like leave and, uh, yeah. and, and uh, I don't know if you can see the lights in the background yeah. we, we left ages ago but I don't think the free beers went down pretty quick didn't it I haven't had free beers I have have you? yeah I've right, beers. so John's had free beers I've had no beers yes, yes you are you little liar <laughs> <laughs> guys we're actually we've done it we're on a road trip and Phil and Karen we're going to be there very uh, soon Karen I love Love, love your little pinny you found. Thank you very much for cleaning the house. I absolutely love you for getting rid of the bugs. <laughs> hey, Phil, you leave my calendar alone. Uh, Phil, that's you Samantha can Fox have the is mine. No, you can't. <laughs> that's my personal stash. What? We're actually we've done it. We're on it. We're on our way. Yay! So we went to Portugal three years ago and said we'll come back to what the UK and now? buy an ambulance and get back and buy land. Is it three or two years ago? It took three years, I think, yeah, now. Three years, yeah. Sure. So, three years, we now brought a house in Bulgaria <laughs> instead of Portugal. <laughs> and, uh, uh, no. and now we're on our way. Yeah. And I, I did have a bit of an emotional moment earlier, didn't I? She, had a, li well? she had a little cry. and it didn't really properly hit me until we was sat down and it was like oh my god we've done this bit so, so we, we, we we brought pabs with us now yeah he's in so the, he's, he's, he's down, down in the dog pen so we feel a bit killy yeah 
Yeah. Because it's not, it's only a little but kennel. we do have a little shoot, so we can go down to him, but if we go down to him, we're not getting him back in that pen. No, he won't. So Josie will have so to So I think we just, we just have to be cruel to be kind and just leave him. Yeah, it's the best thing for him, yeah. isn't it, at the end of the day. So anyway, Pablo, we'll see you in the morning. Yes. And the rest of you? We might see you in the night. We might see you in the night. <laughs> if not, we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Where are we guys? Bearwood. What boat? Hull. Pride of Hull, isn't it? Where are we going? No, it's not the Pride of Hull, we're on P and O. Is it Pride of Hull or on P and O? Hull. P and O. Hull. Yeah, it's P and O Ferry. Where are we going to? Rotterdam. And then where are we going? Bulgaria. Bulgaria! Ah! <laughs> I forgot that was you. <laughs> so as you see, John's made himself comfy on his nice single bed he's got there. I've been waiting 20 odd years for a single bed. Yeah, you can stay in one if you carry on. <laughs> Josie's up there on the bunk. Um, so I'm done. No, I'm done bunk. <laughs> five to six um, John and Josie are still asleep upstairs I've been awake a little while um, don't do the boat rocking <laughs> not so bad if you've had a drink um, but I don't like the boat rocking um, it's not overly but I just don't like the motion of it when I'm laid down so I thought I'd go and get a coffee um, so I've gone and got coffee and I'm now sat at the back of the boat and I thought oh I'll come sit at the back it's raining guys so I'm now sat in this like shelter bed thought it'd be nice to uh, watch the sun come up <laughs> don't think that's going to happen either with it raining unless it stops but yeah it's still dark out at the minute so hopefully we should be getting into the Netherlands in about half eight I think it is but I think it's going to take a little while to um, get off the boat by the looks of it <laughs> <laughs> first on and first off. No, I can't really move. It's <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. Who else gets out of bed at six o'clock in the morning? Mm. No one. No. A few of them. <laughs> I'm sat doing a video. <laughs> that was like awkward moments. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye. So we didn't do a video yesterday, did we? No. So where are we? I can't remember. Where are we? Austria. Austria. So we managed to drive through the Netherlands yesterday and all of Germany. All of Germany. It's a long Gets way to Austria. Germany. John was doing really well. <laughs> Until he hit this red flashy light. Speed camera number one. One. <laughs> right, so we're really confused at light because it was saying you could do a hundred km, was it? Yeah, so the speed limit was on the gantry saying hundred. Well, I was only doing um, sixty mile an hour, which is just under hundred. And it flashed us. And it flashed number two <laughs> twice. <laughs> so we got here again. So now we've got to see what fine we get through the door. Two fines. At least you don't get points on your license. That's <laughs> true. So yeah, so we are. Um, I don't think we got to. We didn't stop. Until we're then. halfway through, didn't we? Yeah. It's, well, we're literally halfway through the journey and halfway through this country. So. Yeah. Well, you stopped got, about four o'clock this morning, didn't you? Yeah, we stopped at four o'clock this morning. We're now uh, well rested at uh, about twelve o'clock. We've had a cup yeah. of tea and a good night's sleep, haven't we? Yeah. We're halfway through this country and then onto Hungary and Romania. <laughs> So we're going to try and get to the border, aren't we? Yeah. And then stop the night and then into Bulgaria. Into Bulgaria tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Come on, let's we've get this baby our, done. We've got all our little Riginet things, is that what they're called? Yeah. Sorted. Thanks to uh, Karen and Phil for your help there. Transit feels like it's dying, the amount of weight Don has loaded up. Look, he blames me. What have I brought of mine? Clothes? <laughs> <laughs> the rest is yours. <laughs> and as you can see, Josie and Pabs are doing really well in the back there. He's been a good boy so far, hasn't he? Brilliant. He's been really good. They weren't even bothered at the borders with him, were they? No. 
was actually quite surprised at that. They didn't even worry when we came in. Yeah, yeah she just typed in his <laughs> His number, we his scanned number, him, scanned didn't we? In, didn't check him on the way out, didn't check him into Germany, didn't check him on the way out of Germany. Just not been checked at all, has he? No, they didn't even look at him, did they? No. So it was like, we could have had any dog in the back here, but yeah, so that went really well. And he did really well on the um, travel across as well, didn't he? He wasn't bothered by that at all, so. But yeah, so we're back on the road. Let's see how far we get. Yeah. So, we'll uh, say. Ciao. Ciao for now. So we've now made it through Austria, and we're now in Hungary. Hungary. Josie and Pabs are sound asleep in the back. Um, I think we're only about 40 minutes into Hungary, don't we? Yeah, not far, are we? So we are hoping to get through Hungary today and Romania most today. of Romania today as well. And into Bulgaria in the morning. Yes, fingers crossed. We'll get very much. So you've got sun in the background. Um, so we're there. John hasn't gone for any more red lights, which is good. He's been a good boy. He's, uh, he did shout at us once, so. What's that now? It's assault. I didn't shout. He did shout. It wasn't very nice at all, guys. So I sulked for about 10 minutes. I'm trying to go. But it's back in my good books now. So, but yeah, we didn't. We just went straight through the border at.
got through okay, didn't ask for anything of Pablo at all, um, didn't check anything, and we drove through. That was fine, we got on the road, we were driving fine, and then there was a uh, road, road closure. So we had to go for this really dodgy bit of road where I cannot say my knickers are still white anymore, guys, because I was absolutely shitting myself. It was bad. It's, yeah, it was bad, wasn't it? was going up real steep hills, real tight bends, on a worse road you can imagine. With lorries hooning it. And then it, we get to the top and it went all foggy. Yeah. Just to throw that in the spanner and all. Yeah, and lorries come in the other way. It wasn't very nice at all, was Sorry, it? I care about it. So, um, Nice. We've managed to now get out of that um, and we're back onto a motorway. It is saying that we are 6 hours and 59 minutes to our house. So we're going to see how much of um, me irritating John he can put up with to keep him awake. I think he's trying to sing to him but I'm not doing very well at that. So he's had a Red Bull and a pot noodle. She looks after me well, guys. You do well. Yeah. You do really Pot well. Pot noodles always had crisps. I got your cheese toast, you didn't know it. <laughs> At 12 o'clock this morning. What should we do? Go and have the cook bloody roast dinner? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. If I had my day with me, she would. Oh, yeah, D would look after you, wouldn't she? Yeah. D would be there feeling sorry for you. See the message she left earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to tell enough. <laughs> Lovely D. Um, but yeah, so as you see, like usual, guys, Josie's asleep and so is Pablo. Now, I think they've been asleep every time we've done video, really, haven't they? All right, so I'm gonna uh, let you go. I'll let you know how we get on. Fingers crossed. Next time I come on, I'll be going got into Bulgaria. So let's see what happens. So I uh, will see you in a bit. So we made it to Bulgaria. Time is What's the time seven then? twenty past seven in the morning. Yep. And we've got 56 minutes to go till we get to the house. And uh, border was really easy. Oh, that, that was really easy, wasn't That's it? That's me expecting them to have a look about and whatnot, and they didn't do anything. <laughs> didn't even look at that chase was in the back. Didn't do nothing with Pablo. It was quite easy. It was quite good, wasn't it? Winner, winner. Yeah. And guess what, guys? Josie's awake! <laughs> and uh, Pablo's is asleep. <laughs> so. Yeah, so that'll wrap this one up. Tune in next week to see what we get up to on the land this week. <laughs>